Okay, we're going to start with my paints. I just showed you all of the brushes, the two angle <clears throat> or the two palette knives that I use. And then I have a one and a half inch angular brush. I also use my little fine liner script brush. And that's to do the lines on the very end. But I wanted to welcome you. You can find me on SuzanneEvansArt.com for a lot of my paintings. Or you can go to my YouTube channel and it is <clears throat> Suzanne Evans, My Happy Place Painting. So I wanted to welcome you and we're going to start with the colors. So I just use these paper plates, these little plasticky plates throw away for my palette. I have a palette, but it takes up too much, to my, too much of my time to clean it off. So I just use these. These are throwaway. So I use gesso for a lot of my white, but today I'm also going to be using titanium white. The other color, colors that we're going to use today are in the blues. So I have a sky blue or a light blue permanent. I have sky blue. I have phthalo blue, ultramarine blue, and of course my favorite, which is yellow ochre. And I use that one at the very end to kind of go over some of it. Just kind of pops a little bit more. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my gesso, my angular brush, and just kind of Go over it just very lightly because we're going to put water on this. I always spray my canvas down. We're doing this a little bit different today. This is just your white gesso. What you already got, you should already have your canvas pre-primed. With gesso. If not, you can put about, I usually, mm, maybe two coats of gesso to let them dry, and that does pretty good. Sometimes you can get the cheaper canvases that say that they're primed, but they're not really primed that well, and you'll end up having your brushes stick to the canvas like a dry brush. Okay, so I think we've got that on there kind of where we need to have it. Next, we're going to take your spray bottle, just regular tap water, and just very lightly spray. You don't want, you do not want it dripping. You do not want it soaking. You just want a thin layer on it. So now that we've got that sprayed, we're going to take our blues and our palette knife. We're going to start off with your phthalo blue. This is one of my favorite blues. And you want to get it on there, kind of thick. And you're just going to just kind of move it around. And just take your palette knife and just kind of lay it flat and pull it up. Lay it flat and pull it up. We're going to do the same thing on the bottom. Lay it flat, pull it down. Flat and pull it down. You always want to wipe off your palette knife after you finish with one color. I do just because I don't want them, I want to have the right color on top of this. And not mix them on my palette knife. So the next color we're going to take is your sky blue. Now 
And again, you're just going through and just lightly taking your palette knife and just kind of putting it just random. This is going to give you your, your design. Now we've got some going up and a few of them going down. And like I said, you just take your palette knife, put it on your canvas, and just wiggle and pull up. So we're going to wipe our palette knife off. The next color we're going to get is going to be your ultramarine blue. So just take it, pull it through, get a good lump sum on there. And we're just going to kind of randomly put this. And don't press too hard or you'll get it mixed in with your other paints. You just want to kind of scan the surface, as I say. A lot of times I put my black down for a base. This time we're just doing the blue, so I didn't want to have that. Just come down and pull it down. And if you need to, you can lightly, very lightly spray just to keep it kind of moist. You don't want it running. We're going to wipe our palette knife off again. Once you have the colors on there about like you want them, The last blue we're going to go into is your light blue permanent. Now, if you don't have all these exact colors, you can use whatever blues you, you'd like. But the last one that I use is the lightest color. And that's just so it goes on and you can see it much better. And you just lightly. Pull it back through. And you don't want to be able to see any of your canvas in any of this that you've got so far. You want to make sure that you have it covered completely in this section. Okay, we're going to wipe off our palette again. I've got just about enough light in there. The last color we're going to add after we do the sprays is going to be your yellow ochre. And that's when we're going to use this tool. Now you can use whatever tool you have that may have a design in it or whatnot. And it, we're just going to come make a few designs in it just for the top of the top of the painting. So at this point, I'm going to take my angular brush and I'm going to get a little bit of the titanium white load it up and the way you load it is you just take the end of your brush and just tap it in there you don't want to get it all up in the top part of your brush just about that much and we're just going to come back in here and start at the top and bring it down and we're going to Take it, I don't know how to tell y'all to do this, but take it at an angle and just pull some of this up. Just pull some of your blue up. It makes it really well. And you can pull it back down. And this is where you're getting your sprays. And you just go to the ends where you have the color.
and you can angle them however you want to angle them. You may have to get a little bit more white and start up here at the top and just kind of bring it down into your painting. You want it lighter at the top. Add a little bit more white, pull this out. You can see the streaks. And see how the ultramarine blue is just a really pretty blue. I'm going to do these in a different angle. I'm going to angle it out to the side. Just kind of give it a little bit different feel. And you see how your ultramarine blue gives it more of a purple tint up next to your other blues. It's just a really pretty blue. If you need to add a little bit more white, take your titanium white and just kind of pull it. We're going to go back in and put white on the top. And I'm just taking it all the way to the edge. And I'm just kind of spray it out, as I say. And we're going to do the same thing on the bottom. I'm going to come in and get your white. And just kind of, I think we're going to turn this up. I can't do this all the way to the bottom. So we're going to turn our painting over. You may find this is easier for you as well. And then just pull it. And we're going to angle these a little bit. Just kind of gives it more detail. Instead of having lines going straight up and down. Do you see the different colored blues that we've got in here? And we're going to come on in here and add this, get this off the brush somewhat because. We don't want to have these dark blues mixed. So I'm just taking a paper towel and wiping off the end of it just a little bit. And this is this is my messy painting. <laughs> now we're gonna do our sprays from the dark blue. Just kind of, and they're gonna go in a different direction. We're just pulling them all the way out to the edge. Same on this side. And now we've got a little bit of the darker blue. We're just going to pull them down so. Just to kind of give it a little bit. I'm going to wipe off my brush again. Get that color out and pull your dark blue. And we've got a little bit of sky blue. And I think that's about it for the blue. Now we're going to go back in with our white, your titanium white. We're going to rinse this brush out. We don't want to put blue into the white. Rinse your brush out good. Wipe it off with a paper towel. Set it off to the side.
Now we're going to take our titanium white. You're going to get your palette knife again. Dip it into your titanium white. Get you a lump, as I call it. Get you a lump on there. We're going to come back through. And we're going to do a bit of white. Just lightly. And don't forget we still have the yellow ochre to put on. And we're going to do this one up. Just kind of take it to the edge and pull. So how do I look down here at the bottom? The tip of your tip of your palette knife. I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom on this one. It's kind of like a ribbon. Same on the other side. Okay, I'm through with the white. We're gonna wipe that palette knife off with a paper towel. To get the white off of there. Now I'm going back in with my angular brush and just kind of pulling some of that white down. Here with the sprays as well. Mm, let's go back down here. I'm going to rinse the brush off again. Now we're going to take, I call it a serrated palette knife, and you're just going to kind of make some marks. They have semicircles. You'll need to wipe the paint off. You see how it goops up on the end? So just wipe the paint off with your paper towel. This just kind of gives it more detail. I'm going to come up here and make the opposite. Do detail into this. Just kind of gives it a little bit more interest. I'm going to wipe this off again and make one last one right here in the center to the right. And wipe your knife off. You don't ever want to leave paint in the middle of this because it will clog it up and then you won't be able to have the details. So we're going to put that palette knife off to the side. Now we're going to get our other palette knife again. We're going to go into our yellow ochre. 
And this I don't get as much on it, more on the tip, more on the tip of the, and just come in and just randomly, you don't want to put it where your sprays are, and you can even go over those. that you just made. It just gives it a little more detail. You can pull them up, pull them down. Just randomly. go back and put the good thing about abstract painting is when you see that you've made a mistake of what you didn't want you can always go back and fix it it's real simple so we're just going to pull these down just a little bit just with the tip of your very 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 tip And you want to do it in the angle that you've got your sprays going. I'm going to crisscross them. A little bit in the middle, I think. these and you just wipe off your palette knife don't let it dry on there yeah that, that paper towel is pretty cool all right over here you can see that it went over the spray so we're just going to come back in with your angular brush and just kind of pull those out in the same direction that you have the sprays Now we're going to do that with all of these. And if you need to turn your brush sideways and pull up in the smaller areas, we go over on this side of these. Now we're ready to put our lines in. This is just a basic, gives you just the basics of how I do them. My confetti abstract is one of my favorites. If you need to go back in and add anything, you're, you can do that, but just pull it out to the sides and up with your sprays. Make sure you follow your sprays. So now we're going to take, once you have all of those on that you want, we're going to take our liner brush. I'm going to dip it in the water. And I am going to use, instead of using the black, I'm actually going to be using the phthalo blue, just so we don't contrast too much. But I just dip it in the water and get it liquidy, pull it out, and just go in and add some little curly cues. 
as I call them. You may have to dip it in water several times. I just ran them. And this is where you don't want to add too many of these, but you want to add enough. And have them going in different directions. Mm, got a big one down here. A little one right there. Maybe a little one in here. I think we're going to call this one done. So I'm just going to sign it. There you have it. The last, the very, very last thing that I do, and I wait until after I've let this dry, is I go in and I paint my edges, either with a, oh, we'll probably end up painting that with your thalo blue because it's a darker blue. Um, most of the time I paint them black just because I like a black border. But in this case, I think I want it to match. So we're going to go in with your Thalo Blue and paint the outer edges after this dries. But thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this one. And come back and see me again. I'll be doing some more videos soon. Thank you. Love you. Bye.